All right, so I hugged the trees and cried and I let out audible exhales ah! twice. My garden was bulldozed and I've narrowed it down to two beliefs. Why? I believe that all we need is another system to balance market economy. Market economy started with two beliefs. One, somebody, likely a winter human. That's what I use for the term scarcity and they tend to be white humans. The term I use for abundance is summer humans. The winter humans went around telling each other, I own this and you owe me. And those two things were lies. And we've been playing this game long enough. So it's not about biting and attacking. I figured it out because I've done so much resistance on the systems. It's about creating a parallel one to bring balance. The market economy is like the, has a lot of upsides now. It's been a long time since the kings and queens did the, just like, the old. We didn't do it. A lot of us were just 80s and 90s kids. So, we bring the ecosystem here. So back to when I hugged the tree crying. I was so upset. But with a learning and growth mindset, I got smarter and I adapted, I evolved. I included past ways, past selves of me. I integrated information in the environment, the stimulus I was responding to and I got conscious and creative. Third garden. Actually, we had way more than third because we had 60 weed plants and we had this garden twice. And I want to show you guys the third time. So we started with little baby seeds and we took care of them with the most amount of love and the least amount of force. And I would have loved for them to have smuggled with us and slept with us but or been in the ground. But I don't know if Dawn slept with the seeds or the sprouts. But I would sleep with them, I think. I want us to think about plants as our friends and the ecosystem humans will bring balance to the market economy because the market economy is a machine made to extract. It's made to evaluate, think, strategize, and use rewards and punishments and get people to, and to, it's fine. Like, let's look at the upside. There's a lot of upside to market economy, but an uh, ecosystem uses the most amount of love and the least amount of force. It cares for the whole. It doesn't do things based off merit. It pays attention to how everyone feels and what would make life more wonderful. Understanding that contributing to the whole brings interdependence, symbiosis, and a wonderful feeling of love and belonging and trust and deeper connecting in our relationships. So come, I want to introduce you to my friends there. I don't call them what humans do. They're my friends, they're beings. Look, I'll show you. There's a little baby here, and there's a little baby here, and these are big babies. These are teenagers. Look how sweet they are. I know, I love you too. They're our friends. Look how happy I am when I snuggle. I'll prove it to you that we're friends. I put my cheek gently, and we both tinkle and melt into each other, the plants too. They love being crest. They have the same needs as me and you. So the ecosystem humans can do their thing. We can create so much abundance right here on Venice Beach. This is where I'm grounding and where I'm getting planted because this is where it's my hood, it's my area, dog town, in the specific area of no man's land right here. That grass is Santa Monica. If I'm topless here, I get chased, I just go to that grass. Cops and I wave at each other, we're cool. I passed. Or I'm in no man's land, it's cool. And then same thing, home base over here. If I'm on the grass being, being a human that's not acting colonized and um, attending to the social norms and puritanical shaming and sexualization, the weaponizing of my body. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so we need an ecosystem. OG stands for ocean grown, the best weed, California grown. We could grow it out here. Enough for you, goddess, I love you. Enough for the glorious queen next to you. Enough for the superhero there, plant medicine for everyone. We'll have so much abundance for everyone here, for everyone there, and for all of our plants. 
all the friends who love weed will live around the weed. Believe me, I met many who just want to live in a garden of weed. And maybe they'll have lambs and bunnies to see who gets along. And then we create our ecosystems. We're supposed to feed the animals. Market economy says don't feed the animals because then you create interdependence and relationship and trust and togetherness and freedom and flow. We want this. So we can't just be market economy humans. We have to be ecosystem humans too. And we could choose. Some humans like me are yogis and I love body work. Like there's certain things I'll never have to commodify. But other things, like I'm never gonna roll with certain crews, so I'll use the market economy for that. And now we can choose. Now we have freedom and choice and trust and love and interdependence and we acknowledge all our needs because the two systems, here's the frame. The thinking, strategizing, cognitive brain, we've manifested and it's kind of taken over. <laughs> and then we have our relational mind, the right hemisphere. It's there for trust, relationship, the parasympathetic nervous systems for co-regulating our nervous systems. It's delicious. So we'll try it. The market economy humans will be lovingly nourished and supported by the ecosystem humans. And they won't just extract and sweep miles of the ocean floor anymore. They won't burn or tear down forests just to make wood. What? Killed all the friends? Because those friends don't, they go to other places to try to live, but it's not the forest they've memorized since they were kids. So we gotta think about this stuff because their life depends on knowing where water is, knowing where this. We just keep creating scarcity, but it's, we're creating it for ourselves. And when we just kind of make stuff, we give it back, it's not a gift. Our spirit knows it's not a gift and we suffer because of this. So let's be ecosystem humans too. And that's the grass. This is where I come when my tribe is here, but my tribe, like we have not been coming to the beach because it's been winter here. <laughs> so it's like the first day that it's been amazing in California for a minute. So I'm gonna be on that grass or here 11-11 every day. And I just want us to figure out the ecosystem. many friends. <laughs> yes, we are all friends. We are all friends. Delicious. We are all friends. I know. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Underneath the sand is a foot and a half of soil. It looks like you got a new skateboard. Oh, I got really sick wheels. Let's check it out. 
These are called shark wheels. These are super badass. And I still got my penny. I like my penny. Because I could do all kinds of cool stuff. I like that. It's a prop. So, this is up. But I got sick wheels. So I could go over anything. So now the cops really won't be able to catch me when I skateboard topless. You can't catch me with my shark wheels, especially not on my board. to love and golf our plant friends at least a few times a day. So I can see the beautiful flowers and there is a sad mango tree that's scared. Hi friends. Hello. <laughs> Notice how all the birds are surrounding here. So that's what happened before. We had dragonflies, butterflies everywhere. Look how happy our friends are. This definitely So here's our mango tree. Mango tree likes to be massaged. I keep asking Mango Tree, you want me to take this off? And I don't know what Mango Tree's doing, but Mango Tree is like, no. Mango Tree lives. Sometimes you could tell when plants give up. And they're just like, oh, I don't really care anymore. So, I say that because Mango Tree does not give up yet. Mango trees hop. Happy. somebody's shoe <laughs> and their shoe landed on the flowers so we say I know of course you feel scared we don't just ignore that that happened that's traumatizing you okay you okay Energy is hot. That's right. A big poop. A delicious big bird poop. Intentionally splattered in the delicious. Enjoy, you guys. 